That's very good. That was less than three minutes, actually. Rosa, what do you think? Should we start? Uh, yeah, buy me five minutes. Okay, then I'll uh, try to fill those five minutes. Welcome, everybody, to uh, our uh, marketing meeting. Uh, I see some uh, new people joining us. Thank you for that. I hope you feel welcome in our community and in the marketing meeting. Uh, we're a community project, so in that respect, if you have anything to say, please speak up. Uh, that being said, if someone else is speaking, please allow them the time to uh, uh, to speak. That's just a bit of courtesy. Um, let me see. We got okay. We got a lot of going on. We had a, a new uh, wallet being released with all the new uh, capabilities. Uh, we got a countdown clock. A timer for the new capabilities uh, being released, and that is projected to be on uh, by heart the 29th on a Tuesday, if I remember correctly. Let me check that. Uh, we do have a countdown uh, counter uh, on the website on countdown.veras.io. Uh, no, Monday, the uh, 29th of November. Uh, over here, it also depends on where you are, of course, uh, in 12 days and 20 hours. So that's something that's coming up. Uh, if you want to have a uh, taste of what is coming up, uh, you can always try our test nets. Uh, all the capabilities that will be available are already available on test net. And uh, a lot more, uh, the stuff that won't be unlocked uh, in 12 days uh, is also there, like uh, the entire PBAS release. Uh, we have a bridge going on uh, with the ring test testnet, that's the Ethereum testnet. So we can send uh, Ethereum and ERC20 tokens uh, from there to our own network and back. You can test out all the uh, automated market makers that are presently available. And I know our, uh, we've got some community members that are working on that uh, to get some, uh, some stuff up. So all in all, it's an exciting time. Oh, and I forgot to say one thing. If you don't feel comfortable in uh, having your voice heard, but you do want to say something, you can also type in the marketing channel. That's basically where we uh, look for uh, questions, remarks, uh, any text in there uh, will be taken to, into account in the marketing meeting. Thank you everybody for patiently waiting. Sorry about this. It's a lot uh, going on. There's a um, uh, trying to get the uh, coins prepped and ready uh, this afternoon. There's um, we, I, we finally made all the decisions. Everything is finalized. Uh, we're just pretty much putting together um, the website so that you guys can provide the information that we need uh, for the particular coins themselves. And that's kind of what I've been uh, putting together. Um, and also working on the t-shirt store trying to get uh, some of the other t-shirts the newer ones that are out trying to get all the baseline things and available um, and obviously keeping up with uh, you know, everything else that's going on with this and organizing it I believe Mike is going to be joining the call in about 15 minutes or so we're all running extremely behind uh, so I don't know if somebody would like to have any topic or anything they would like to bring up or discuss or help uh, buy us those 15 minutes and then we'll get into exactly what the coins are, how they're going to work and you know, how we're going to wind up uh, releasing them. Uh, we're right on the edge of that. Like I said, we have everything figured out and there's some, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, 
so yeah, does anybody have anything they would like to bring up? So we'll kind of leave that for later in the meeting. Is there any topics or thoughts for marketing? I, we do need to think about the release that's coming up on the 29th. Uh, I have talked to Whitebit, and there's an AMA, a tentative schedule for the first week of December. So we're working on planning that AMA for the first week of December. Um, so I'm still working on nailing all that in and the time frames. So we also need to think of other ways of getting the word out for the updated mainnet uh, release, which is coming up in about two weeks. So somebody wants to maybe brainstorm some ideas or thoughts. And so if anybody has thoughts around it or ways of helping getting that out. Um, yeah, there's an event created on Coin Market Cap, and a lot of people already uh, responded to that. That is legitimate and uh, put their thumbs up. Uh, but I believe we got more people here, so you can just go there. You don't need a Coin Market Cap account or anything. You can just say, "Okay, I like it. It's good." And that link, I'm gonna look it up right now. Sorry for the delay, guys. But uh, Mike should be on shortly, and I believe we have just about everything put together. And there's Mike now. Uh, we'll give him just a few minutes to get his ducks in a row, and we'll get started. No, guys, I'm, I'm, uh, or everyone, I'm, uh, I have to apologize because I was actually holding uh, Rozo and talking about things not realizing that you know with the time change and everything else that i was one hour off and so i apologize for that um so just real quickly wanted to i wanted to talk about just some basic things and then i think roddy uh, oh my god sorry rosa <sighs> And I think Rozo is going to uh, talk about the coins, and uh, and then uh, Nick has some super exciting news for us, uh, Consilience, and he's okay with me calling him Nick. <laughs> um, and he has some super exciting news for us that we're going to want to move to um, quickly. We're going to we're going to want to get through the first stuff and move to that. I'm sure. Um, and I've been working with Rozo and other people to, you know, and a lot of people have contributed to the creation, including, um, Concilian, Spike, Max, you know, Maisie, um, lots of people and have been contributing, you know, along the way in different ways, um, to the physical NFT that are these coins. And so, you know, everyone's, I think, in anticipation of learning about those. And the goal of having these coins at first available and making these this first run was to make it possible for people in the community to get them who have been around for some time. And so we've been, you know, different, like Rosa's been asking and, and I've been asking in different meetings and we've been trying to get different people from the community just in, I mean, these are all public discussions to try and figure out who wants them. But at the same time, we've been just going around to try and lock things in. And we, and I believe that Rozo has a list of people. Um, we're going to, we're going to make a one exception for one person. Um, and that's JL777. Uh, and we're going to reserve one for him. Aside from that, um, you know, everybody has said that they're committed on this list. And so we're going to say those people who have said that so far are going to get their, um, their coins. And then we want people like uh, Rose is going to explain how many are left and, you know, how, when it opens, how many will really be there. And I just want to explain um, a little bit about these so that everyone understands that these are not just 
they're not a, really just a gold coin. In fact, um, they do say a thousand Varus on them, and they're going to come, you know, with what you might think of as batteries not included. So, uh, because this is not about selling Varus, the currency, it's about these as NFTs, as physically, the, the first physically, truly physically bound NFTs using the Varus ID model for doing that. And so each one of the, let's start with the gold because the others are all really interesting. Each one of the gold uh, NFTs will come with uh, three IDs or, and uh, Rosa, is this correct? Can they choose? No, we just, they cannot. So three IDs that are um, part of what you're ordering and you get to add some customization to these IDs, but there are gonna be three IDs in these uh, gold coins. There's gonna be the primary, revoke and recover. Those are yours. And um, then we're also working on this concept of a shared ID among all of those people. Um, and, you know, as far as the artwork and the characters, um, the only thing that we really can say about these coins, these NFTs right now, is that the artwork is going to be the actual unique, um, each individual unique uh, coin can be uh, available uh, in a form that's both an image and also can be brought into the uh, metaverse with all, all the rights that you need to do whatever you'd like with that. And, um, and through the shared identity, um, if this group of people, for example, who end up with these coins has an idea of something that they might want to do or would like to potentially uh, if anyone, for example, the Barris Coin Foundation or anyone decided that they would like to, say, donate to this group so they could make some joint decisions about what they want to do with those funds, that's a possibility um, if we do this shared ID among the holders of those uh, gold coins as well. Um, and so I think... Uh, the concept of those coins is that on the outside of the coin itself, it's going to have the identity name of the coin, laser engraved. And with the shared concept, the identities that we have reserved uh, for these coins are the original, well, the identity starts with just original gold DAO. That's one identity. And the other identity is, which is going to be the revocation and the recovery of that first identity is OG DAO. And, uh, and so basically on the outside of the coin, you're gonna have the identity of the coin and then maybe like a space and you know some separator and then the name of the shared identity and then all of the coin piece that you've seen. And if, you know, the assumption is that if you were ever to transfer that coin to somebody that you would transfer the identity and the, and the um, membership in that shared identity as well for it to be complete. Those are the membership and the shared identity and that are not uh, bound. So anyways, that's, a, that's the coin. And that's, uh, you know, I should, turn that over to uh, Rozo to give more deals, details on that. And then, uh, and then next up, I think after Rozo is, we can definitely talk about the release and the activation and everything else, but um, definitely everybody should update. Um, you know, it's the Varus Vault in the marketplace. Like we can definitely answer these kinds of questions, but there's so much news today and information. And we actually would like to ask people to help with something that I think should be super fun uh so i think it's probably best just to turn it over to rosa let him finish up and then have him turn it over to consilience and let him explain things and then try to get through these things and and get everybody to participate in the next 
thing that I think everyone's going to think is is actually really fun. So I will turn it over to you, Rozo. So thanks. Thanks, Mike. Okay, um, yeah, Mike did a great intro of the coins and what we were planning. I think he was focused mainly on the gold coin and you know everything that will go on. We'll, I'll explain more what it will be uh, for the silver coins and the bronze coins, which will be available. Um, so, as Mike mentioned, we have a list uh, of people that I've been asking for several weeks. We have a minimum order uh, in order to meet the requirements uh, for the gold coins. So I've been tallying a list for weeks and asking people who's interested and you know who's committed and so forth. And um, that list has grown rapidly recently. Uh, so there will probably be very few put on the website. I don't want to put a number as of right now um, because those people who have been confirmed and confirming. Um, so there will be a small amount uh, put on the website uh, that'll be available for the gold coins. There will be a hundred silver coins that'll be available and 250 bronze coins, which will be available. The silver coins, we will allow you to use pre-existing IDs and the gold coin and the um, bronze coins will also allow you to use pre-existing IDs. Um, we have Everything's set up except for I need to finish programming the site to allow for pre-existing IDs. This was a last minute um, decision. So I think it was worth the added delay um, to have that option in. Unfortunately, that option is not available for the gold coins due to other complexity. So, but we will have that options for the other two coins. And uh, as soon as I can get those set up and some of the text finalized and uh, Everybody understands what is available and what their pre-order uh, is. Uh, we'll make that available shortly after the meeting, um, unless people think maybe we should do it at a more coordinated time to give people more of a fair time. But I think due to trying to get these uh, coins ordered and everything, we should probably do it shortly after the meeting if everybody's okay with that, if there's no objections. Uh, we'll, I'll look out for that in the text here shortly. Um, so yeah, uh, the silver coins themselves will have come with two IDs, uh, and one ID will be the primary, and one will be the uh, revoke and recovery. So we'll ask you to provide uh, either both existing ones, or we will create a new one for you. The silver coins are going to be with the exist with IDs included. Uh, they will be. right at, oh, I'm sorry, without the Varus included, they're gonna be right under $200, probably about $190. Uh, we will ask that you, uh, the, as Mike said, they are coming without batteries. We'll ask that you load them once you receive them. The bronze coins uh, will be right at $50 with one ID included or $30 without an ID. The silver coins will come with a wooden case along with the gold coins. The bronze coin, the case is sold separately. It's $30 uh, if you would choose to purchase it. If you would like to get something cheaper, uh, there's a lot of like leatherette cases and a lot of other options that I think uh, would be, you know, you could get cheaper somewhere else. I didn't mess with but, it, I think, sorry. Rosa, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, about the um, silver coins, if somebody, so, First, I think it might, since we're only going to have one ID on the outside, if somebody just chooses to put an ID in there instead of, you know, buying the revoke and the recover as part of it, it seems like they might just need to only put one in. That's one comment, just to make it easier if they decide to go that route. And then the other uh, thought, because I think you had mentioned that before, and I thought that was a good idea. And then the other thought was that, um, is there a a discount or a cost with and without on the silver? Yes, the IDs will be $20 um, and they will be either subtracted or added uh, to the actual price. 
So, I mean, this is going to be like the cheapest way you're going to be able to get an ID. And you're going to get a coin, an ID, and everything for, um, like, a bronze coins as an example for $50, where it's normally 100 barracks, which is close to $100. So it's a really good deal, any way you look at it. You shouldn't have said that. They're all going to be gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a great, anyway. So yeah, I think that these are the, the, the meat of this. I, like I said, it's all going to be on the website. We're going to make it available. I just wanted to make sure that I was clear that bronze did not come with a case. If you're interested in the case, you can pick that up. Uh, one other thing, this will be all written up on there. Um, and it should be very clear, double and triple check everything. Um, once this is sent off and it's on the coins, we can't fix it. We're trying to make that as clear as possible, but just please keep that in mind as we're uh, putting this together. Um, the gold coins are going to come with an exclusive set of um, gear that you will be able to, you'll get a coupon emailed to you uh, that you'll be able to select your size, colors, and so forth. Um, the Just like the silver, you'll also get access to exclusive set, which would be a, a shirt, a hat, and a mug. Uh, bronze, um, that's included in the price. Bronze will give you access to buy an exclusive t-shirt, uh, but is not included in the price. And shipping is separate for all of them. But all this should be very well spelled out on the website. And I don't really want to take too much more time on this if people don't have direct questions. So I need to go check marketing. Um, but I, I hope that this should be pretty well listed. The other thing I'd like to point out is that uh, these will be the not only the first NFTs on Verus, they are actually physical NFTs. And because of the ID option, thanks to uh, Point, uh, who helped point this out, I'll give them credit, <laughs> that these things will now be exchangeable on the marketplace uh, using physical NFT premises, like where somebody has to mail the coin back or they can be separated or vice versa. There's, there's lots of options. So you can look that up for yourself. Uh, but I thought I'd point that out. But uh, I appreciate everybody's time. I'll check for the questions. how to get on the list. Unfortunately, the list has been building over the weeks and we have, are, uh, I'm not accepting anymore right now. We're just gonna put what's available on the website and make it so that uh, people have a chance to actually go to the website. Wait, 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 yeah. Roddy. I mean, Rozo, um, someone's asking that right now. Yes, how to get on the list now. We'll get a, uh, um, okay, we got people on this call, obviously more interested in the community than just people in the random public, right? Um, is it reasonable to fill up the list if that's what people want? Of course. So uh, that should be like a final, okay, so Santos is on the list. I mean, that should be a final, I would think that if people really, yeah, so if, if people don't know, then I mean, only the only thing we'd really want to know is if people really know, because otherwise then it's just a matter of you, you can get them from the website. Uh, you can, uh, Spike, I think you were, uh, yeah, you were, I think, thought to be, have expressed that you wanted to be, um, and so basically it's just the list of the different people that, uh, Rozo had collected from the different meetings asking who wants to be on, you know, who wants to get these so that we could make the pre-order. So, um, okay, the question, uh, Rozo, I think, we, I think we need to look in the, what people have asked, like as soon as, whoever really definitely wants one of these should say it in the marketing channel now so that you can start with Fugeta's question and uh, maybe Add to the list over people that you don't already have on the list. What do you think? I mean, it seems reasonable to me. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry, my daughter decided I'm... to interrupt oh, me. Oh, right sorry. No, I'm here. I'm listening, though. Um, yeah, obviously, of course, we can add more. We can you know, continue to add or can 
I've just been asking for weeks, and then all of a sudden it's snowballing. So we're obviously trying to figure out the most fair way. All right, to all right. Um, but yeah. Okay, uh, so, so some people, some people who are saying it, it doesn't hurt. Some people who are saying it already said it, but that's okay. But I think that the key is after Fugeta's question, if you know, we don't. The whole point was to make it so people in the community can get these without having to be at auction or think. Things like that. So you don't have to say it if you know that you've already said it to Rozo. You don't have to say it again. If you've said it to him, is this true? The, the, okay, the... Uh, yes. There's people been okay. on the list for, like I said, several weeks. Okay. And I've been asking every meeting publicly, and all of a sudden it's snowballing. So I'm trying to understand a fair way to... Okay, so Baba asked, how do you make the payment? The, the payment will be through the website... And it would be either in, like, it can be in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Veris. Um, do you take any fiats at all? I don't even know if you do, uh, Rozo. No, only cryptocurrency. Okay, so in crypto on the website. Um, but, but we'll trust when people say that they're committed, that they're committed, and, um, or you will. And, but I think that's fair because that was kind of the point. Uh, it's called Veris Gear, Elon. The, the website is Veris Gear. Uh, yes, Baba, ETH would be one of the accepted cryptocurrencies. Um, so, so I'm, guess, I'm guessing with the people who have, look, just if you definitely want one, say it. Um, Rosa, I think you should go from where Fugeta asked the question down and just. If the list fills up, then the list is full, and I guess then we're um, doing marketing around the fact that it uh, is gone, and the silver and the bronze are still available, and they are also um, NFTs, physically bound NFTs, all of them. So, does that make sense? And also, as you mentioned, a great deal on identities. Yeah, that does. Um, yeah, I was going to point out, Mike just pointed out, there's still the silver and the bronze, which will uh, be available. And, and I want um, to say one more thing. Fugeta, you're saying interested in a set. I think interested is not what, like, I think in order to just reserve it and not have it available on the website, we should just know that someone says, yes, I want one, because that's what uh, Rosa's been trying to figure out. And so, yeah, like, yes or no? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Yeah, I've had people for weeks telling me, I don't care the price, I'm in, sign me up. And that's kind of... The gold, uh, the gold price, so it was originally going to be like, uh, the, I think the cost on it is right around 28 and the gold price, I think, ended up around 38 no, no, 30, like It's that. 38 No, 38 The, the gold coin is 3800 $3, uh, plus the 1000 Varus which we are requesting you load yourself. It comes without batteries. Please install batteries. Right. So I think what I was saying is I think the cost is somewhere around 2800 to a little over 3000 just the cost, right? Like the actual like yeah, cost of making it, including the ID. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's, right, there's the cost. There's the donation to the foundation. And, you know, it's ba everything well, is I, right uh, at cost. Also, and, no, and, and also, right. And so Rosa said, like, what Veris Gear is doing is all of the profits from this, which, you know, it's not it's not marked up, like, double or any of the – none of these are. But all of the profits um, Veris Gear is going to be donating to the foundation. And again, guys, uh, I, I'm doing the best I can. This, as I've asked at every meeting, it's usually been right around 10 people. And as you can tell, it's, this has snowballed to a lot more than uh, the 20 max of what we were planning. Um, I just, I, so I want to say, I actually want to say one thing. Uh, Rozo has mm -hmm. been, like, just putting in, uh, like, an incredible amount of time over a long period of time to bring this together with lots of different complex pieces and yeah I, I yeah i just want to say thank you really because i think this is an amazing project how it's come together and like that's been rozo working to make that happen and i'm gonna say the same about consilience and what he's gonna announce but you're all gonna feel that when he does 
and uh, and I just want to say that about Rosa on this, really. So thank you. Unfortunately, the 25 has several limitations um, for this run. We are considering other ones, uh, but it has to be set at 25 this time, unfortunately. And then five have already been uh, spoken for for the donation to the foundation. Uh, I will do my best to go pedal back through all this as the rest of the meeting continues and piece together this, and I will uh, reach out to everybody and be as transparent as public as possible with this. Uh, Mike, we do also appreciate all your help in the hard work. I know there's a lot going on in the background, as more people will understand and learn here shortly. Um, and, yeah, I uh, will go ahead and pack this over to uh, Antilios, unless there's anything else. I would just like to say that, I, you know, if there is no objection, I have to go read all the text. Uh, we'll shoot to relaunch this about two hours after the meeting, so all the coins will be available, but we'll make that at least maybe a two-hour notice on Discord to make it fair. Um, but, all right, I'll pass this over to me. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks so much, Roto. Much appreciated on the coins, and, of course, Mike, for all your amazing assistance on everything um the news that um archetype wanted to uh, release today is that we have um signed an agreement with um, a group called digital nation entertainment and that is with regard to um creating high quality metaverses of which uh, you would have seen one that mike uh, put out which is the cyber xr environment at that grace weber room um another is um, called Space Mint, which is in partnership with the Academy Award-winning John Getter, who's of uh, Matrix fame. He uh, won the Academy Award in 2000 and was responsible for over 2,000 of the special effects that went into the Wachowski's amazing, life-changing movie, The Matrix, and is working together with us. And uh, Archetype is... Um, uh, donating 50% of all of the um, proceeds from this relationship to the Varus Coin Foundation. And um, furthermore, um, d &E is also releasing um, tomorrow a piece of, um, well, a, a, a digital environment, which is in partnership with um, Rock Nation, which um, many of you will know is Jay Z, uh, Jay Z's business, and um, and it will be a digital environment for the movie, which was released by Netflix, called The Harder They Fall, which some of you may have seen, and um, many other exciting commercial endeavors, uh, which will be through um, part of their B two B business, which is known as New Sky as well. And so this is at the beginning of um, high quality metaverses on Verus, and we are the exclusive partner to. Hello. Um, we can. Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. Somebody just I think uh, was on not on mute and was loud. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is an exclusive, uh, partnership and, uh, I don't want to, um, suggest that the rock nation element is, uh, as yet ready for, um, going into, uh, the blockchain side of the metaverse, but it is in partnership with our partners, DNE and, uh, DNE have committed to exclusively working with Varus on their um, metaverse environment. So this is the beginning of what I think is going to be a very exciting and mimetically important um, effort. And um, if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I know Mike has got more details on, um, on the testing environment for the Harder They Fall um, digital environment. 
Actually, I just want to add, Nick. First, I, I want to I want to say thank you for you know your from the beginning plan to help the community and all that you've tried to do to to really help in pretty much every different way from discussions on things that you know we're working to do and how that could conceptually be better and you know to um, bringing your vision uh, along the way and and uh, you know and the work that I know that you've been putting in to make all of this happen um, and your generous offer of donation of you know these um, this significant part to the foundation which is going to support the entire effort and you know i don't think that um i i really we're i'm glad that you're in the community and i can't think of uh you know someone in your position uh coming to the community and and really taking and when i say that i mean with the business that you've got and you're in your building it and and all the exciting work and, and your vision, you know, to come here and to really join, really join and help and make a public open network um, what it can possibly be really takes a special person. So I just want to say thank you. And and I know that, you know, it's it was a short thing that you said about everything and it's very impactful. Um, but it also represents massive amounts of work in recent years by you. And I've been, you know, close enough to see that. And, you know, there have been challenges along the way. And so congratulations and thank you. It's um, my pleasure and it wouldn't happen without you and your amazing uh, work as well. And uh, I wanted to also say that I know you know, we see people in the Discord saying, oh, you know, well, what's going on and what's going on? And, you know, we've not always been forthcoming because, of course, things take a long time and these relationships are hard to uh, cement. Um, but there are going to be many more amazing uh, groups and uh, opportunities and um, some of the stuff that, are, that we know is coming that is equally um, as exciting. and potentially, well, just unique and world changing. So, you know, we can't we share whatever we can share. And this is the first time we've been able to, um, to, um, you know, reveal all the work that is going on behind the scenes and that uh, is going to be um, revealed and the world's going to understand that Veris is going to be the future um, and of all the internet of value, as we like to say. Um, so, you know, it's exciting. And uh, I know everyone's uh, everyone's always stretched, um, so it's um, we, we we got we got to uh, got to the point that we wanted to get to, and people are going to start to see us, and they're going to start to realize everything that we've laid plans for. And also, just to say, for the branded currencies, of course, that's exactly what we need is to be able to put those branded currencies into those metaverses, so that those avatars will be able to interact and. There's more coming on fashion brands and physical buildings and all sorts of amazing things that um, that will make the full archetype value plan built on Veris and uh, and that with amazing technical team like John and uh, the Digital Nation team. Okay, are we, uh, there is sound, can people hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Okay. So should we then, how about we talk about the opportunity to help Digital Nation Entertainment with a major launch tomorrow, and, uh, and then a little caveat of what that really means and how it relates to this and how it doesn't relate to this. Does that make sense? You want me to do that, or do you want to do that? Yeah, you should do that, yeah. Okay. All right. So both, you know, to get a sense for what these 
um, the state of these metaverses now and, and what they are, and also to uh, really help testing because digital, this is, a, this is our community helping our new partner and uh, corporate member, you know, of the community, Digital Nation Entertainment and the other companies that they bring with them, the Space Mint and CyberXR. And, and so basically they've got this launch tomorrow of uh, one of these metaverses uh, that is not, uh, it was built. It's not uh, built, integrated with Veris. It doesn't have uh, cryptocurrency integration, um, but it's a metaverse that is the, uh, one of the cities in this recent movie, The Harder They Fall, um, Netflix movie, and it's going to be publicly launched tomorrow. That means we don't wanna go out and try to pre-announce details about this. Um, you know, we would prefer to just make this a community thing. But what we do want, if we can do this, to just say welcome, it's we're recognizing this is not a Veris NFT. Um, this is the community saying welcome to Digital Nation Entertainment. And we they're asking and inviting us to go and um, uh, I'm going to drop the link in the marketing channel. Uh, I was told that it'd be nice to start around 2 p.m. PST, so I'm going to wait three minutes. And it's not there now. Uh, I'll drop the link in. And it is one of these metaverses. And if you go there with your browser or um, I haven't done it with, you know, VR, but I... I believe that you can do that as well. Um, and you go there with a, a Chrome browser, I think Safari for some reason is right now not loading that, but I don't know, um, cause I don't use it. If you go there with your, I think I've heard that. If you go over there with your browser and you can just walk in, you put in your name. If we put in our discord names and we walk around, we'll be able to actually talk to each other. You know, you can have your audio going, you can walk up to people, you can walk around, you can look at the city, you can walk into the pub and sit down at the table in the, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, walk up to the table in the movie, from the movie, They Hard or They Fall, and, you know, kind of see what's going on, and we can all just go in there, because they've got this live launch tomorrow, and they'd really like to get numbers of people who would be interested in this to join and start using it and report any issues please that you might run into um you'll be able to see it uh baba you'll be able to see it in just a minute post the link already <laughs> okay um all right so there's the link i just dropped it into uh the marketing channel and if you just you know go there i'll drop in at some point um but you'll be able to talk to people with your you know voice so you can recognize who's who if you talk or you can we can walk around silently if you want to be anonymous i i don't you know i, I don't know how much uh, chatting and typing there is so anyways the more people we can get in there to help them right now the better i don't believe that there is a limit of the number of people that we could get in there right now to help them because i think on their launch tomorrow they're expecting a lot and so any number of people that we could get in there to help them just let's have fun in the next uh say two to three hours and reporting any issues that we see in you know not necessarily how do i walk around or this kind of thing please um i mean of course that would be nice as summary but mainly i think what we're looking for um uh uh, yeah, it's not Spotify, actually. It's just every Chrome browser should be able to use that. Um, if you're on a, uh, I think that's what maybe what happens if you're on Safari or something. Um, so anyways, that is what we would like to do to help them and welcome them and show them that we really are a community, an active community. And, oh, the login asks for a Spotify login. Oh, I see.
I see. Okay, so Tango808 is saying click connect with Spotify and then you can log into Spotify with a Google or Facebook login, even if never having used Spotify before. Sorry, everyone. I didn't realize that it required a login. I understand. I mean, if we can still go and do this, um, it would be super helpful. Uh, and I am going to probably use, um, I don't, I don't think I have a Spotify ID either. Um, I'm going to go check. And so I think, you know, we should, we can open it up for some questions, but I think also it'd be really useful for us to figure out how to get into that metaverse. If that's what we, I do want to help them. And, uh, but I, um, you know, but we can definitely open it up for a few questions, maybe for the next, say, 10 minutes and then jump off and meet everybody there. And and by the way, if you're going to see somebody in the metaverse and you want to talk to them, you probably need to walk up to them pretty close, especially when we get lots and lots of people, because um, depending on how many people there are, there, you know, are more and more servers. And I think that by location, you end up on the same server near each other and you're able to hear each other when you get close, I think. So we'll figure this out. Any questions? Um, is there a way to move faster? Mm, I'm not an expert in that metaverse. So yes, you can. Oh, yes, I do know that answer, though. Um, if I believe if you move your cursor to a spot and you click on the spot, you're basically like transported there, but everybody sees you walk there really fast. Uh, I just happen to know that answer. Oh, here we go. Baba says, Baba has, is new to the community, just found us today, and he just, like, told us all how to get around this in a great way. Um, walk around, work around the Spotify login requirement, click on Login with Spotify, close the pop-up page it opens, type in your name on the page, and you're in. That might be feedback to them that they might want to hear. We'll give it to them. Don't know. All right, so um, Oink, is there any chance you might be able to set up a just a channel for uh, metaverse testing feedback? And it can even we you know we can close it down after a day or two so that people can just put all their feedback for this in the metaverse testing feedback channel. What do you think? Maybe he's not on. Yes, the other I, thing... was I, I was okay. typing. Uh, I, I was creating the channel as uh, you spoke to me. It is oh, done. It's okay. in uh, software and development. Okay, great, great, great. And and then just at one last thing. Um, and of course, if there are some questions, we still have a little time before we all get excited and jump in there. One last thing. Um, even though this is not the uh, like a, a Varus NFT, this is the technology that Digital Nation Entertainment and um, their partners are leveraging and building. And so we would want to give them feedback and make it, you know, as excellent as it can be at all times. So um, anyways, just wanted to make that point. Thanks, everyone. Unless there are questions, I'll just wait for a little bit and if there are, you know, but if, unless there are questions in about five minutes, I'll drop off and, and see you guys in the metaverse. Um, hopefully as many of you, and, and you can even, you know, tell your friends, please, um, you know, in term, not in terms of news necessarily, uh, that's not gonna be as helpful as if you know people who would go in there and want to play around and test. Um, the more people we can get in there, the better and, and just in a helpful way. So thanks everyone for everything.
Okay, any other topics people uh, want to bring up uh, regarding marketing? This is, of course, uh, we've already had some bombshells, so I dare you to drop another one. I'll see you all in there, and I want to thank everybody for uh, participating in this meeting. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I really hope uh, we'll see you again. Uh, from now on, I will try to uh, make the events uh, announce the marketing meetings a day in advance, so you know when it's happening and uh, you see it all in your own uh, local time zone. Thanks for uh, joining, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye. Goza Crypto already sees me. All right. See you in the metaverse. <laughs>